that there's a difference between a valid contract and a legally enforceable contract. A legally enforceable contract has these three elements. And when you have these three elements, if you ever have to go to court, your contract will hold up as long as you have the three. If your, your contract is missing one of these three elements and you have to go to court, your contract may not be, it may not hold up, meaning a judge may not find it enforceable, meaning that you may not get, if you're losing money, you may not get your money. If there is an obligation that another side promised to you, they may get away with it because you don't have one of these three elements laid out in your contract. And so we'll, the first element is an offer. Parties must be given an opportunity to enter the agreement. So in essence, they just must be given a chance to say yes or no. Acceptance, it must be clear that the parties are agreeing to the terms of a contract. I think as business owners and, and just in general, I think these first two elements are pretty clear cut as far as the understanding of what does it mean to have an offer? What does it mean to accept it? So if you're a contractor and you have an invoice, your invoice can be considered an offer. And if you have the clients, if you have your client sign that invoice, that can be considered acceptance. This third point is the point that I think a, that um, a lot of people may have a difficulty understanding or there's a lot of litigation over this particular point. There must be something of value exchanged between the parties. It could be money, it can be services, or it can be promises. The point here is even if you have an invoice that's signed and it's accepted, if it's not clear that something is being exchanged for something else, you may not have a contract. 